Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Please follow this. Suppose my dream is to become an actor. So I join an amateur theater group. Being an amateur actor, this is not a success. So suppose I leave this amateur theater group and I join a professional theater group and I get a small role. But this is not a success. So suppose I got many small roles, but not even one big role. So this is not a success. Suppose I got a big role, but this is the only big role I got. So this is not a success. Suppose I got many big roles, but not even one role on TV or cinema. So this is not a success. Suppose I got a role on TV or cinema, but it's a small role. So this is not a success. Suppose I got many small roles on TV or cinema, but not even one big role. So this is not a success. Suppose I got big roles on TV or cinema, but not even one award. So this is not a success. Suppose I got an award, but it's a local award. Who knows about this award? So this is not a success. Suppose I got a national award, but even in the neighboring countries, they don't know about this award. So this is not a success. It's not an international award. Suppose I got an international award, but it's not the Oscar. So it's not a success. <laughs> Suppose I got the Oscar, but it's the only Oscar I got. Everyone forgot about this Oscar. So this is not a success. So you see this vicious circle, how to get out of it, how to stop cooperating with it, what to do. My answer is to do. To do what? To do what you love to do, to follow your heart, to fulfill your dreams, to follow your passion. So why is it easy to say, but rather difficult to apply? It is because of our boxes. Since we are born, so many boxes are put in our mind. Boxes which are fixed, conditioned concepts. Society box, religion box, family box, education box, tradition box, politic box. And everybody wants something from us. Everybody has expectations from us. Everybody is telling us what to do. So many times we are trying to live up to these expectations. So many times we try to satisfy everyone and we forget ourselves. So, wanting to follow my heart, to follow my passion, to fulfill my dream, I face these boxes on my way. Let's take one box which is a concept, conditioned concept, common to many, many cultures. And this concept says as follows. If I put my happiness as my first priority, I am a selfish person. Therefore, I put others' happiness as my first priority, then I will not be a selfish person. And this is not the truth. The truth is absolutely the other way around. Follow this, please. Suppose my passion, my dream is to become a dancer. This is really my call. This is really my love. I want to do it and I face resistance. Resistance of my family. It's not a proper job. How will you support yourself? How will you support your family? It's not a respectful job. We are expecting you to be a lawyer, a teacher, a doctor, to join the family business. You know this. My friends, many times laughing at me, saying that this is a feminine job, it's not a real male man job. So I don't know what to do. I have two choices, to follow my heart or not to follow my heart. Let's take the first scenario where I'm not following my heart. I become a lawyer, as expected for me, very successful lawyer, big clients, a lot of money, big house, beautiful car, Everyone is proud of me, but I am not a happy lawyer. I am a bitter person because this dream is still lurking, still steaming, still bubbling. And the only thing which I'm interested in is to suppress it, to cover it, to hide it, to pretend that it's not there on the expense of others. So I don't have any happiness to give to anyone. It's not nice to be around me. I am a bitter person only thinking about how to cover it. Me, 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 me. So I'm a very selfish person. 
Let's take the other scenario. I follow my heart. I follow my truth. Some of the family members are very angry. Some of them will not talk to me, but I will be a happy dancer. And being a happy dancer, following my heart, following my dream, you know what happens? Naturally, I want to share. I give my love and I give my happiness and I impart my knowledge to everyone who wants. As a dancer, I perform. I make the audience reflect on themselves, learning more layers of existence or simply just enjoying. I can teach others, kids and adults, and I can become a living example that it is possible, living example for those who are struggling to fulfill themselves and seeing me as an example that it is possible. Therefore, I am not selfish. I am happily sharing my love, my passion with everyone who wants. And I am an individual. Now, the word individual is misunderstood because it is a very interesting word. And as the great philosopher from India, J. Krishnamurti, pointed out, individual comes from the word indivision, which means not divided. So if I follow my heart and I share my happiness with those around me, therefore I am not divided from them. I am interconnected, interwoven, part of the humanity. So, why people find it so difficult to be happy for me? Why they can't say, hey, if this is what makes you happy, this makes me happy. I love you. Whatever makes you happy makes me happy. Go ahead, enjoy. Why they give me troubles? It is because people are in boxes. So, suppose I am in a box. A tradition box, family box, culture box, you name it. Being in a box, what does it mean? That I am not fulfilling my heart. I'm doing things because I'm expected to do, not because I really want it. I'm doing things because everybody is doing it. It looks known, it looks secure, and I know that I'm living in a box. And I don't like to see it. So I cover it, I create a fort, a box around me, denying my way of living. So if someone around me is going out of the box, this reminds me that I am in a box, and I don't like to be reminded. So the first thing I can do is trying my best to put this guy back into the box. And then I will have the so-called silence, the so-called status quo. So, what to do? To do. To do what you love to do. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Suppose I start to do it, and I really become a dancer, a cook, a gardener, a doctor, whatever my passion is, then two big boxes are coming. The box, one box name is success, another box is failure. Now, this is common to every culture on this planet. But what is success? Let's go into it exactly. Success is a criteria created by society, imposed, implanted in me, and I absorb it and swallow it and take it deeply so much that I believe it to be mine. So I think this is my criteria, this is the correct criteria, and I measure myself against it and I compare myself with this criteria, believing it to be mine. And then the symptom of too much self-criticism and too much self-judgment is coming. I want to do something, and this goes, ta -ta 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 -ta, you cannot do it, you are crazy. You know, all these kind of things. Too much self-judgment, too much over-criticism. So what to do? To do. Because if I listen to it, I cooperate with this. If I listen to it, I help it to continue. If I listen to it, I am a slave of it. So, what to do when this is coming? Like I'm saying to myself, I don't care about you. You can continue chatting. I do what I love to do. You know, the painter from the Netherlands, Van Gogh, who painted in such a way that in his time was absolutely unacceptable, and he was criticized and attacked from all sides. He didn't sell even one picture in his life, maybe one to his brother. He died poor. He became famous after his death. But he said something very important, which for me, in my personal difficult times, serves as a mantra, one of my mantras. And he said as follows, 
If you hear a voice in your head which says, you are not a painter, then by all means paint, and this voice will disappear. So, these boxes where, which I'm talking about are not coming from the moon. We have created these boxes, right? So if we created these boxes, it means that there used to be a time without these boxes. And if we created a box, it means that this box is flexible. And if we created this box and it's flexible, it means we can change it. Okay? And we can create other boxes, new boxes. Normally, when we look at um, a beautiful piece of art, we consider it as creation. Maybe we look at nature, we consider it as creation. But actually, each one of us is a creator. We create 24 hours a day. We take coffee powder, we take sugar, we take milk, we take water and create a drink which was never there before. Just a minute ago, this particular drink. So imagine that we can live such life where we know, we understand, we experience that we create every second in our life knowing that I create my next step, I create my next thought, I create my next salad, I create my next furniture that I want to buy, I create my next relationship, I create the shifting of my house, I create the change of my career, I create the opening of the door. This gives an amazing sense of participation in the big creativity of the universe, which never starts and never ends. Not a big part, not a small part. Big and small are also kind of boxes. Just equal part, a wonderful sense of participation. So I do what I love to do, because this is my passion. This is how I give love and passion to everyone, and I am not selfish. And I go it this way, deleting the concept of success, deleting the concept of failure, deleting the concept of trying to be the best, deleting the concept of trying to be number one, just being myself. And if I am myself, there are many chances to touch the heart of the others. So, if you have a dream, to create your own solo show, one, way, one man, one woman show. Go for it, do it. And if the only space you can get for your performance is your garage, go for it, do it. And if the only audience you can get for your performance are your two friends and your grandmother, do it. And if you get the Oscar for it, who am I to judge? Thank you very much.